guys, it's Ashley. Welcome to another edition of Sparky Loves Book Book Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about my January book haul. It was a great month in book buying for me. The beginning of the month I had a little bit of money from Christmas and stuff, so I bought a couple books then. And then the rest of the month was filled with a little bit of impulsive book buying. It was kind of an impulsive month as far as books go for me. We were really good about saving this month so I was able to use some extra spending money and buy some books that I really had wanted for a while. It resulted in a very happy Ashley. So here are the books I got the month of January. First off, three graphic novels. I got the first volume of Rat Queens and I'm really excited about this because everybody keeps talking about this series. They keep talking about how awesome it is and how the main lead female characters are really great and awesome heroines and all different and diverse and so I'm really looking forward to this. I have yet to see a bad review of this graphic novel so I'm just really psyched to get into it and I've been reading more graphic novels lately and I've been trying to use more popular series as a way of diving into the graphic novel world so this was one of those introductory <laughs> graphic novel experiences for me. The second was Lumberjanes, and this is, again, a first volume of a series. I got this one, again, because I saw a lot about it on Tumblr and Goodreads and stuff, and also because Noelle Stevenson is one of the authors and illustrators of it, and I just read Nimona in November, and I really, really loved it, so once I saw her name on this, I knew that I had to buy it, and it was on my wish list for hardly any time before I was just like, you know what? Screw the wish list, I'm just gonna buy it for myself. And again, this is another like semi introduction into graphic novels for me. I've read comics before, Marvel comics, but I'm trying to get back into them by reading some other types of comic books, and this is one along with the Rat Queens. And the last graphic novel is Apollo, which is part of the Olympians series by George O'Connor. This is the eighth one of the series. I've read all the other seven ones. And this one actually just came out in the middle of this month, and I had pre-ordered it, and it got delivered to me on the day that it released, and I was very happy to see this package waiting for me outside my door. I'm excited for these. I've been really enjoying the graphic novel illustrated rendering of each of these Olympian gods. Um, stories. Some of them have included Zeus, Athena, Hera, Hades, Poseidon, Aphrodite, and Ares. Well, I'm pretty sure he's going to do them for all 12, actually all 13 if you include um, Hestia of the Olympian gods. So I'm really excited about this next edition of it. I love everything Greek mythology and the fact that there's a graphic novel version is like made for me, I think, and I am happy that the book gods have decided to continue to further enable this obsession of mine. <laughs> Next is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Again, I've seen a lot about this book on the various bookish websites and stuff, so I picked this one up when I was at Barnes & Noble earlier in the month and wanted to buy some splurge type books for myself, and I have yet to read a Colleen Hoover book. This is the fourth one that I own, and I just, for some reason, have been collecting them without reading them. I know you all know how that goes. You just keep buying books because you know one day you'll read them, but not right away. So one day I'll get to her. I'm actually hoping to read a bunch of Colleen Hoover the year 2016. It's a sort of, like, soft goal of mine. I have heard a lot of good things about this one, and I thought that I would pick it up while I was splurging on myself. Splurging on myself also sounds really dirty. I don't think I'm going to use that phrase again in this video. Next I got Briar Rose by Jan Yola. I saw this book a lot when I was working at the independent bookstore that I was managing um, a couple months ago. It was getting read a lot for school, I think in middle school level, maybe ninth grade. And it was all of a sudden kind of gaining a lot of headway because it was required reading. And I saw it then, and then it was brought to my attention again when somebody on Tumblr recommended a bunch of fairy tale retellings to me because I've been getting sort of into fairy tale retellings. I just read some Angela Carter who does, you know, different versions of like Beauty and the Beast and stuff. And so I was talking about this person on Tumblr and they were, they gave me a whole long list of them. It was really awesome of them. This was one of them and it was like a dollar at the used bookstore down the street from where I work now. And so I picked it up because I am really hoping to get back into fairy tale novels. And um, that includes like this and 
the Lunar Chronicles books, and a whole bunch of others that were recommended to me. I mean, it's a list of like 50. I don't think I'll read all of them, but I'm definitely going to dive into a bunch of them. Next was Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, which I already have a copy of, but it's the tiny mass market paperback version and it's so thick with such tiny print that I am just gonna drive myself crazy and give myself a headache if I read print that small and condensed and squished together so I saw this in the used bookstore down the street from where I work for like five dollars and I picked it up and got it because I binge watched the whole series in like a week with my best friend and immediately became obsessed, incorrigibly and unhealthily obsessed with all things Outlander. <laughs> now I am determined to read all these books. It has shot way up the top of my TBR list and I really can't wait to dive into this world. From what I hear it's really close to the TV show. Everybody loves it. I have yet to like come across somebody who didn't love it. Back when I worked in the bookstore this was always getting recommended to me. Everybody was buying these books. We'd sell out of them all the time. So I don't know what the hell is wrong with me that I haven't read them yet. But I am both loving that I'm going to read these and dreading it because I know that I'm going to be very emotional and I know that I'm not prepared for set emotions despite having watched the television show. So wish me luck with this. Next is Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, which I already owned an e-copy of on my e-reader because I received an ARC of it last year, but I really wanted my own physical hardcover copy, especially with the third and final book coming out, like, like now. <laughs> I think it comes out in like a day or two, and I've already pre-ordered it, and it's already set to get here when I get the hardcover in in like two days I can have all three of them sitting beautifully on my shelf in hardcover and it smells so good and it looks so beautiful and it makes me happy. Next is Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. This is actually a young adult western novel which I have never heard of happening before. If you guys know of any other young adult western books please let me know. I am very interested in getting to read some of those kinds of genre books. I was at Barnes & Noble and looking for something different to read and I came across this book and it's so beautiful in its cover and the description had me instantly hooked. Really looking forward to reading this. I think I'm probably going to read it this coming month of February. We're going on a trip, my husband and I, to Washington for a couple days and I think that this is going to be one of the ones that I bring with me so I'm really excited to read this this month. Next is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I am so excited about this. Everybody's been reading this book and talking about it and I can see why, just based on the cover, like, look at this, this is so cool, this is the coolest thing ever, and it sounds amazing, it's like this science fiction slash action slash romance young adult novel, and like the different formats that are in the book are really cool, and I can't believe it, and look how thick it is, this is gonna be like a monster to read, but yeah, it was on sale on an online website for like 45% off, so I bought it and everybody's talking about it and loves it so I'm really excited about this book. I can't stop staring at it like oh my god look at it. I just I'm so excited. And last but not least is The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet which corresponds to the YouTube series The Lizzie Bennet Diaries which I am now obsessed with. I actually read it already even though I bought it <laughs> this month because this month was deemed January reading for me so I read all Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice based fiction and this was the first one of four that I read this month that was Jane Austen fiction and it was amazing if you really like the series like I do this is a great buy because it fills in the gaps between the episodes and talks more specifically about Darcy, Georgiana, Lizzie and Charlotte's character. I feel like those four you get the most like more in-depth character about. So this was so great. I read it so fast. It was just fluffy and wonderful and fed my obsession even more which was both great and bad. So yay for this book. It was great. And that's it. Those are my January 2016 buys. Please subscribe to my videos if you want to see more. I also have Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr which I will leave links for also below. And thanks for watching. Happy reading.